In this lesson, we will try to solve another problem using recursion and the problem is that given two positive numbers x and n, we want to calculate x to the power n and x to the power n is nothing but n times x multiplied to itself. So there are n x's, let's, let's say in this expression and uh, to calculate x to the power n we perform if we simply keep on multiplying with x all the time exactly n minus 1 multiplications and if we want to write a program to calculate x to the power n the simplest thing that comes to our mind is that we can start with a variable say we want to start with a variable result initialize it to 1 and then we can simply run a loop from 1 to n and keep multiplying result with x so result becomes result into x in this case you are performing n multiplications because you are initiating the variable to 1 instead of x but it also takes care of the condition when n is equal to 0 and as we know x to the power 0 or any number to the power 0 is 1 and as we can see for an input n we are running the loop we are running just one loop n times so it should be pretty evident that the time taken here in this particular case would be proportional to n or we can also say that the time complexity of this algorithm would be order of n. Now Albert and Pinto are two students of my code school and they have been given the assignment to calculate x to the power n using recursion. So once again Albert and Pinto come up with two different solutions and let us see what their solutions are. To solve a problem using recursion we first need to define a recurrence relation or a recursive definition. So Albert says that hey x to the power n can be written as x into x to the power n minus 1 and this is true for all n greater than 0. For n is equal to 0 x to the power 0 is simply equal to 1. So x to the power n being equal to x into x to the power n minus 1 is a recurrence relation because x to the power n is expressed in the form of x to the power n minus 1 and this second condition is our base condition. So let us see what Albert's implementation is. Albert writes a function power that takes two arguments x and n and we are only writing pseudo code here and the function goes like if n is 0 then simply return 1 else return x into and we make a recursive call here to calculate x to the power n minus 1 so we pass arguments x and n minus 1 and this is Albert's implementation and this will work fine for all n greater than or equal to 0 so using this algorithm if you want to calculate say x to the power 8 we make a recursive call to first calculate x to the power 7 and then x to the power 7 goes on to make a recursive call to calculate x to the power 6 and we keep on making recursive calls till x to the power 0 and x to the power 0 simply returns 1 and that at this stage the recursion terminates. Now let us see Pinto's solution and Pinto is a little smarter he says that x to the power n can be written as x to the power n by 2 into x to the power n by 2 if n is an even number and x to the power n is equal to x into x to the power n minus 1 if n is odd and x to the power n is equal to 1 for the simple case or the base case of n is equal to 0 so we kind of have two different recurrence relations for two different cases and let us see how the program look li looks like so Pinto also writes a method power that takes two arguments x and n and his program also goes like if n is 0 then return 1 else if n is even and we can also say if n modulo 2 is 0 then first calculate x to the power n by 2 and store it in a variable so let's say we have a variable y in which we store x to the power n by 2 by making a recursive call to calculate x to the power n by 2 so this is a recursive call and we return y into y 
Now instead of writing these two statements here, we could also have simply written that return power x comma n by 2 into power x comma n by 2 but that would have been very bad because in that case we would make two different calls to calculate the same value which will be unnecessary redundancy so if we would want to calculate x to the power 8 we will make two calls to calculate x to the power 4 and then multiply them so we make just one call and store it and then simply multiply it to calculate the square and finally if n is odd which will be our final condition then we simply return x into x to the power n minus 1 and this also works fine for all n greater than or equal to 0 so now when we want to calculate x to the power 8 then we make a call to x to the power 4 so instead of reducing this to x to the power 7 we reduce the problem to calculate x to the power 4 and further x to the power 4 recursively makes a call to calculate x to the power 2 and then we go on like to x to the power 1 and x to the power 0 so while Albert's program goes kind of nine steps here in the this structure called the recursion tree Pinto's program only goes five steps in this recursion tree and if we analyze the recurrence relation of these two algorithms then Albert's algorithms Albert's algorithm the time taken by it is proportional to n or it is big O of n or order of n in terms of time complexity and Pinto's program is order of log of n in terms of time complexity how Albert's program is order of n algorithm and how Pinto's program is order of log n algorithm is something that we will explain in another lesson we will try to deduce it mathematically but as we can see that Pinto's program which is order of log n is a lot more efficient than Albert's program now couple of things here when we are trying to calculate exponents then in a real program an integer variable which is stored in 32 bits is able to store a decimal number of only 9 to 10 digits while x to the power n can be really really large so let's for the sake of uh, algorithmic understanding assume that we have a machine where all this storage and calculations arithmetical calculations is not a problem so this was exponentiation in another lesson we will try to solve a very similar problem modular exponentiation and we will also mathematically deduce the time complexity of these recursive algorithms so thanks for watching